Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope very well. I'm going to be uh, firing up the IKEA utensil holder. As you can see, this is brand new. I believe this was like a $2.99 at IKEA. I think the bigger one is $3.99. I could be wrong, it might be $1.99 and the big one is $2.99. Either way, under five bucks. Can't believe I forgot the price, but I've actually been sitting on this for a while and uh, thought I'd bring it out today. I've been watching uh, K Dog Crazy has been making a, a couple stove videos, and I was thinking, man, I I should get on and make a stove video too, just because I uh, you know I really like K Dog Crazy's channel, man. He's a good channel. He seems like a really good dude too. So nothing bad to say about him. No, so, I'm gonna do the twig bundle because I like it. Although thinking about it. If I'm trying to shove this in here, it may be an issue. I had that happen before, so I'll see if I can uh, make this bundle a little neater. Because I need to be able to, I need to be able to stick it down inside. So, well, I could put it in like this, or I could just make this smaller. I don't get this thing packed too tight because I need air to be able to go through it. So, man, big fan of the twig bundle. I like it. All right, let's see if I can get this. Uh, let's see if I can bring it up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There's a wind, but it didn't feel that windy. Come on. I have some birch bark I could use. Wow, it just keeps going out. We're gonna be like that today, huh? All right. Well, I get birch bark, so. It doesn't feel windy though. That's the thing that cracks and it's killing me. So I broke out the uh, Hidden Woodsman Tinder bag. I got, actually got a little fireweed in here and a little cotton fluffy material. I'm gonna put it with the stick. And then a helicopter went flying by, so. Ow, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, that was not smooth at all. As soon as I tried to set it in there, it... <sighs> wow, it's just one of those days. Alright, just one of those days. So basically I uh, 
was setting it in there and I ended up like it just fell apart on me. So I'm just gonna use a chunk of zip bar starter because 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 why not? I just want to get this thing going. Of course. Come on. I had to fold to the side. Where apparently it wants to stay. So screw it. And not everything goes as planned out here. Jeez. But it's not like I threw in the towel and gave up either, so. Just gotta make do with what you got and forge on ahead. I gotta admit, that was probably the sloppiest still I've done in a while. Holy crap. But hey, you know, it's lit, so. That's what matters. Getting it going. How's that go? It's how you get there, it's not about the journey or something like that. Camera down on that. There we go. What I'm doing now is I just want to build up a coal bed. I'm going to cook the first part of my lunch on this stove. Which I think it will be its own video. I got the uh I wanna melt my pants. Alright, so I got a comment from uh Cheesehead Chris to uh prop the bucket up so I won't uh it won't tip over. So I took his advice. So when that gets uh rolling I'll uh I'll get my lunch going, but I think I'm going to leave that as its own part of the video. So that's a, a sloppy way to light a stove, but you know, you do what you got to do. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, Wait for the uh, part two, and I'll be, well not really part two, it'll be on its own video, so alright, thanks.